what's up beautiful people listen to Roma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video from the truth is and it's titled feds claim to have evidence on dd that will put him in prison really hmm interesting i'm excited to check this one out to hear what they've got to say let's check it out for a while after the Cassie lawsuit, it seemed like Diddy was going to weasel his way out of this one. As months would pass and besides other lawsuits being filed on him, Diddy was still a free man and still had plenty of supporters. Many people were waiting and expecting for Diddy to clear his name and return back to being a hip-hop gatekeeper. But over the last few weeks, it's becoming pretty obvious that Diddy won't be getting out of this one with his money and connections. It huh. looks pretty obvious that Diddy is most likely done for. Those who were protecting him for years seem to have gone ghost on him to deal with the controversy all on his own. Even though many lawsuits have been filed on Diddy, they have all been civil cases. Meaning that at the end of the day, Diddy was probably going to lose some money, but he wasn't facing any prison time. But that has all changed now, as the feds revealed they already obtained the evidence needed to put Sean Diddy Combs in prison for a very long time. Hey guys, I hope all is well. Welcome back to The Truth Is, where I drop new videos every other day exposing the truth. In today's episode, we're back talking about the Diddy sagas as new information has been released. Let's get right into it. Things just keep on getting worse for Diddy. It's just been downhill for him since Cassie filed that lawsuit last year. It's sad because when she did, so many people called her a liar and said she was just after Diddy's money, claiming that she was just mad because Diddy moved on and didn't want her no more. But after that hotel video was released with Diddy doing the unthinkable to Cassie, you can see why she didn't say anything sooner. Diddy is one dangerous man and that video proves it. Cassie's friend was just online telling a story on how devious Diddy truly is as according to her, he hung one of Cassie's friends over a balcony just to scare them. Cassie obviously couldn't just walk away from Diddy and that hotel footage showed us exactly why. I believe she did the right thing by escaping how she did and waiting many years to tell on him. I feel that Cassie knew this was the right time to expose Diddy as Diddy was having trouble with Diageo and knew he no longer had the higher up support. See, the reason Diddy has gotten away with all he has gotten away with was because for many years he was protected. Diddy was a valuable asset to the elite in the music industry, the type of people that can make problems go away. I have told the story of how Diddy originally founded Bad Boys. It was Clive Davis who gave Diddy the capital to create Bad Boy Records. Diddy had just been let go from the label he was working at and he had two artists with him, but no label or money to make them big. The story goes, Diddy approached Clive Davis who was a huge music executive and asked him to fund his record label. Clive didn't see a future in hip hop at the time as it was too premature and seemed like a fad. This is when the story gets disturbing as it's been rumored for years that Diddy allegedly got on his knees for Clive Davis and performed a little extra service on Clive. Clive then funded Diddy's label after they allegedly were in a relationship for some time. While this might sound crazy, Clive Davis has since come out as a bi man admitting to this in his biography where he claims to have hooked up with many men in the music industry. Considering the fact that it is rumored Diddy also likes to get down with men and make them do compromising things for opportunities, I believe this rumor is 100% true. In my opinion, Clive Davis was the one who taught Diddy everything he knows and he's the reason Diddy was protected and allowed to become this massive giant in the music industry. Now that Diddy tried to sue the elite above him and force his way into more power, he's being thrown to the wolves. Diddy is done for, not because he's guilty, as he's been guilty for 20 years. He's done because he is no longer being protected by the elite and they're choosing to sacrifice him. You think the feds didn't know Diddy was a guilty man? They obviously turned a blind eye to him for years. But after what he did to the elite above him, someone made just one call and Diddy got raided. Also, that hotel footage was- Exactly. They've been protecting him for years and the people that have been protecting him are top and higher ropes. So it's not even uncommon for these things to happen in Hollywood. Like within a snap, they can just up and make things or all of this information go away. But of course, he pissed off the wrong person, which is evident, is obvious. And I mean, some of the things that are happening in Hollywood, when you look at it and you start connecting the dots, you would realize that none of it is normal because their own world is self-created. But again, people still don't want to believe that weird things happen in Hollywood. Like, look at this, look at Didi this, and all of the things that are happening to Didi for, Didi, for example. How come he's been getting away with lots of this? And how is it that it is now that we're getting to hear about all of this? So it means that some of these things 
have been in our faces but i mean of course they make us like not remember this or like they just so of course it is wholly weird so i mean they do weird things on there and sometimes you just sit and wonder like what exactly is going on because nothing is making sense especially about hollywood and don't be surprised if lots more information start popping up because that video that we saw none of it makes sense honestly it doesn't how many the question is how many more are there but yeah let's go on and did he got raided also that hotel footage was leaked showing his crimes mind you this footage was from 2016 eight years ago you think the feds really just got their hands on that tape now? Diddy was being allowed to do whatever he wanted, and that's why that tape didn't come out sooner. Everyone in the industry knew about his evil. He had anyone trying to expose mm -hmm. him silenced. Remember, people think Kim Porter was writing a book to expose Diddy. Kim Porter is no longer around, and if we listen to one of Diddy's former bodyguards, he claims he saw Diddy do the same thing to Kim Porter that he did to Cassie. How many times did you personally witness him be violent towards women? Uh, around four or five times. And was that all with Cassie or was it Cassie and other women? Uh, I seen him with Cassie and I seen him with Kim Porter, his uh, kid's mother. Right, who's now so sadly no longer with us. But what, what did you see him do? I seen him inside the car, grab her up. I seen him, you know. And one thing about Kim is Kim got to the point where she fought him mm. because she realized how powerful he was. It was one incident on Sunset Boulevard in front of the Beverly Hills Hotel where I just seen the car rocking back and forth. You know, of course he put everybody out there, but I seen the car shaking, so I opened the door. I said, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? You see where we at and what are you doing? And Kim got out the car like nothing happened and she fixed her hair. She told him, she said, I wanna see you explain to the media that scratch I'm gonna put across your face if you put your hands on me again. And that, that was that was Kim attitude. Kim yeah. attitude was she realized that what he had to explain meant more to him than anything. And once she realized she had that power, she said, nah, not no more. In my opinion, Kim Porter is no longer around because of Diddy. Many people knew about Diddy's disturbing behavior, but they all covered for him. That's why the feds pretended like they didn't see anything that he was doing. But that has all changed now. As just yesterday, the feds declared that they have damning evidence against Diddy that could possibly put him away for a uh. very long time. This is all coming out after two more people made lawsuits against Diddy, accusing him of even more disturbing yeah. allegations. Just yesterday, the media was reporting that the feds claimed to have obtained video footage of Diddy victimizing a male sex worker at his home claiming they found this evidence during the raid they did on Diddy's home. According to a report by CNN, they are contacting people who were found on the tapes to bring in as potential witnesses on their case. One of those people is a male sex worker who claims he was victimized by Diddy at his home. Per the report, this individual was seen in footage that is in possession of federal investigators. According to these reports, Diddy is possibly facing a grand jury indictment for his alleged crimes. Right now, the feds are gathering evidence and witnesses to indict him for these serious crimes. When I saw that the feds claim to have footage of Diddy victimizing a male sex worker, I thought to myself, it's most likely the man from this footage that I have talked about before. This is Jonathan Odi, who told the police about the freak-offs and Diddy's crimes years before the Cassie lawsuit was even filed. Jonathan, who I believe is in prison to this day, told the police that Diddy had allegedly given him an STD while he was a part of the freak-offs. Jonathan then claimed that he sued Diddy and he was awarded a lot of money. He admits that Diddy was doing a lot of disturbing things in that footage. I actually verified what Jonathan said and it is true and I believe him, as he was indeed a male adult film star and the news also reported on the huh. situation, claiming that he came into a large amount of money out of nowhere buying expensive properties. There's a rumor that Jonathan was taken out while in prison because of what he said about Diddy, but I couldn't find anything on this. Whether it is Jonathan or not, we will not know until the feds release whatever information they have. This is the exact same Hollywood that people idolize because lots of things that they do, they paint it and they fine tune it with glamour so people don't see the things or the dealings that are happening i've said it before that cassie's video speaks so much volume and imagine the, imagine what we saw in that video then pictures other event or other things that have happened with other people other ladies or other women are we ready to go down that 
because now people are starting to talk or to share their um share the things they know about him especially people who have worked with him or who have been who are close to him because yo this is plenty but again lots of people can't wait for um diddy to go to jail but again it's a two-way thing honestly when you look at it it's a two-way thing because lots of people would not want they will be one of they want to be careful based on the, the fact that some of them that might have been to Didi's one of Didi's parties or whatever they don't know what activity they might have been involved with or they might have done so people will want to be careful at this point it is tricky for some people but this is interesting let's go on whatever information they have either way according to the feds they recovered tapes from the raids that show the freak off activities which is rather interesting after king combs made the song warning people to pick a side and taunting the feds about not going to the right house where the evidence was but according to the feds they have acquired the video evidence proving that these freak offs did happen i wonder how many mm -hmm. were seen on these tapes doing god knows what with diddy that's why so exactly. many of them have stayed quiet. We obviously won't see the Jay-Z, Diddy, and Beyonce freak-off tapes because Jay-Z is still protected. Even if they find those mm -hmm. tapes, they're not going to let us know. Jay-Z is obviously next in line to take Diddy's place, and that's for certain that he will. Now, I wanted to talk about the two new lawsuits that have been filed on Diddy, one by a former model and one by one of his former girlfriends. Both of these lawsuits are a perfect example of how the music industry in Hollywood work. A woman by the name of April Lampross is suing Diddy for SA that happened to her back in the 90s. According to April, she met Diddy in New York City in 1994 while she was studying at the Fashion Institute of Technology. She claims that Diddy pretended to be her mentor to get close with her. April claims in the suit that the first time Combs S8 her was in 1995 after they met at a New York City bar. She alleges that Combs pressured her to drink alcohol. She claims she felt uneasy after a few sips and was later guided to a car to leave with Combs, arriving at a hotel where she continued to feel unwell. April was on a hotel bed when Combs climbed up on the bed and allegedly began kissing her. When she turned her head, Diddy allegedly grabbed her face and continued to kiss her. He then removed her clothes despite her attempts to tell him no and to stop. April then passed out as Diddy allegedly R-worded her. According to April, this wasn't where it ends either, as Diddy allegedly sent her gifts for months, trying to win her back. For whatever reason, April would eventually give Diddy another chance. This time, she again was forced to participate in activities with Diddy. This is when April learned her lesson and told Diddy she was done. But according to April, Diddy didn't take no for an answer and began threatening her telling her that if she stopped participating in their relationship, her chances of having a career in the industry were over, claiming that he even promised Imagine. violence if she left him. This led to a third encounter with Diddy. This time, April alleges she was forced into a freak-off with Diddy and Kim Porter. At this point, it's becoming clear that it seems Diddy has an M.O. So many women are accusing him of doing the exact same thing over and over again. This lawsuit came paired with another lawsuit from a former model who claims Diddy essayed her back in 2003. Crystal McKinney was an inspiring model back in the early 2000s who was introduced to Diddy by a mutual friend who was a fashion designer. According to Crystal, this fashion designer prepared her look to make sure Diddy would find her attractive. At the event, Crystal said Diddy made suggestive remarks Marks, offering to help her career and make her a star. He then made sure to get her drunk and invited her to his studio the same night. McKinney said that he was drinking and smoking with several other men when one man offered her some and told her, you've never had nothing like this before. Crystal interpreted that to mean it was laced with another substance. After she smoked with Diddy, she claimed she felt very intoxicated. She alleges that Diddy then led her to a bathroom where he forces her to get on her knees for him. After this, she claims that she lost consciousness and woke up in shock to find herself in a taxi cab heading back to the designer's apartment. She claims she felt humiliated and traumatized. Crystal said that after this, her modeling opportunities began to decline and she believes Diddy used his influence to blackball her in the industry. These are two out of the seven lawsuits made against Diddy that shows us who we're really dealing with. This is just an example mm -hmm. of Diddy using his power to get what he wants from women. This is what a gatekeeper does. If you want to be famous, you must go through him. Diddy forced so many people to do things like this for years, and nobody spoke up, and they kept it on the down low. Just imagine how exactly. many artists had to compromise to Diddy for an opportunity, male and female. 
Imagine how much footage Diddy has over all these celebrities. Nobody should have to do anything compromising uh -huh. in order to have a career in the music industry. All you should need is talent, hard work, and dedication. But we see that people like Diddy are making sure that you have to pay the toll to make it. Diddy is the one man who could possibly explore yes. the entire industry as he has tapes on everyone. This is exactly why the industry has turned on him. It's best that he's painted as the villain mm -hmm. and not all of them. Diddy isn't the only monster though. Yes. Hollywood is full of them. We need to keep this same energy for all the monsters and not just Diddy. Anyone who has been doing things with Diddy or has known about Diddy and protected him is guilty too. The industry needs to be cleaned up of these demons who are misguiding the youth. Diddy has served Lucifer for years. Now he's turned his back on Diddy and left him for dead. I want to know what you guys think below. Do you think the feds will indict Diddy or is he going to find a way out of this one as well? In my opinion, it does seem like he's been left for dead and everyone has turned their backs on him. He's no longer being protected. So it could be a possibility that it's finally over for the gatekeeper Sean Diddy Combs. Well, I'm going to end this one here. But before you guys go, I just wanted to ask you guys to like, comment and share this video so that it will be recommended to others. Yo, it is not surprising to hear all of these details. But yes, lots of celebrities, it's not uncommon for this to happen in Hollywood as well. And uh, the question is, how many more are there? Like, uh, when I mean how many more, how many more of uh, people that are like Didi? Because, I mean, Didi is not the only one in the industry that would be doing this or that does this because we've got there will be tons of people. It's almost like a repeated life uh, cycle or lifestyle in Hollywood where they do this and they see nothing wrong with this. But again, let's even look at the possibility of this. Some of the celebrities too want to be careful. Or uh, some of the people who's attended Diddy's freak off would also want to be careful. So now, do you think he's left for good? For me, I would say this is tricky because yeah, while they will be, they will want to be careful the kind of information they release and also want to keep some to have dirt on others. So at this point. We don't know what the truth looks like anymore. But, yo, imagine all of this that have been going on for years. Then let alone other celebrities that will be exposed to this. Hollywood itself is messy. And I've said it before, that the, the world they created or their own world they created is self-created and to them, they see nothing wrong with it. So they want to infest our own normal world with what they are doing. That's why you see all of this behavior. They promote it. They push it to movies, to songs, whatever. So people start buying into that level of whatever they do, which don't make sense. But it's, a, it's interesting that we're getting to learn about this. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. Do you think Diddy uh, would eventually go to jail? Or do you think it's done for? Or you think otherwise or you think he's also gonna drag some other celebrities along with him or other top names along with him i really love your honest contribution you can share the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video